to understand the respiratory issues in the newborn we need to know that when the baby is inside mummy the baby is not using its lungs and the baby is getting its oxygen and getting its carbon dioxide removed through the mother's placenta the lungs are filled with amniotic fluid and although the baby makes some breathing motions it's not actually using its lungs there's also very little blood flow to the lungs at this time once the baby is born the baby takes its first breath and that's when the lungs uh get filled with air the fluid is removed by various mechanisms and the baby starts using its lungs for getting oxygen into its body and for the removal of carbon dioxide sometimes this transition from in utero existence to the out outside existence in our world does not take place smoothly and that is one of the commonest causes of breathing difficulty in the newborn in term babies one of the commonest causes is what is called transient tachypnea of the newborn this usually happens in about 10% of babies happens in babies who more commonly who are born by elective cs or elective cesarean section less commonly in babies born by the natural route in this the baby because it's unable to remove the lung fluid that i told you about a little while ago has some breathing difficulty the baby may need some oxygen support and some breathing support usually for about 2 to 3 days during which period the baby manages to clear its lungs of all the fluid and improves so in term babies one of the commonest causes of breathing difficulty is transient tachypnea of newborn the other common causes would include meconium aspiration and rarely infections if the mother has prolonged leaking or the waters break early and the baby is born more than 24 hours later then there is a chance that the waters get infected and this infection can be transmitted to the baby babies with infections like this present with features of breathing difficulty and may need breathing support the third common reason is called meconium aspiration this happens usually in post term babies babies born either at 40 weeks or later or babies who pass meconium early for various reasons once the baby passes meconium this particulate matter tends to block the airways and that is a cause of breathing difficulty in these babies some of these babies cope with this easily and don't have much of a problem other babies may need to be ventilated and some babies may be very very sick so these are the problems that term babies face the complex problem in preterm babies who present with respiratory difficulty is what is called rds or respiratory distress syndrome of newborn this is a problem faced commonly by preterm babies preterm babies because their lungs are not programmed to be used at the time when they are born are deficient in a chemical called surfactant surfactant keeps our lungs open throughout our lives and is produced constantly by cells of the lung in preterm babies because they're not supposed to be using their lungs this surfactant is not produced or is deficient and that is a common cause of breathing difficulty in preterms the treatment for this is to give breathing support keep the lung open by using what is called either nasal cpap or sometimes even ventilation and to give them artificial surfactant artificial surfactant is given to tide over the time till the baby starts making its own surfactant which it does once the lungs are being used till the time the baby produces its own surfactant we may need to give one sometimes two and very rarely three doses of artificial surfactant to keep the lungs open while we are giving breathing support either in the form of ventilation or nasal cpap or sometimes high flow nasal cannula oxygen these are the respiratory problems that babies face uh, in the early neonatal period 